Hey guys, Nazali here, and today we're back from our YouTube video. Today we're going to be talking about future trunks from Dragon Ball Xenoverse versus Silver the Hedgehog from Sonic the Hedgehog, like the Archie comics. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe. For those of you who have been around the channel for a while, you might remember a while ago I covered Zeno Goku versus Archie Sonic. And while this basically would be the exact same video, uh, on, like during the Archie Sonic versus Xeno Goku video, I was going under the scaling that you know Sonic and the Archie comics is limitless. And while there definitely are arguments for it, my opinions on if he is limitless have changed a bit. And besides, it's just more of an interesting discussion to have Archie Silver with his like feats that he has shown rather than just. Oh, he's limitless. He one shots. So if you're going to enjoy this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and yeah, let's just jump into it. For strength attack, we won't say that Zero Verse Trunks, as a Super Saiyan 3, was able to keep up with Super Demigra, who was going to like fuse the like multiverse of Super Dragon Ball Heroes with the real world, which was stated to be a higher dimension above the infinite multiverse in this continuity. Basically, meaning that Xenoverse Trunks as a Super Saiyan 3 would be classed as complex multiversal, and as a Super Saiyan God, he is much, much stronger. As for Archie Silver, meanwhile, in base he fought an overpowered base Sonic, who could contend with Exes Nogus, who created an entire universe sized realm, basically meaning that Silver the Hedgehog would be Universal Plus in base form. And as Super Silver, he's comparable to Super Sonic and Super Shadow. And Super Sonic alone was capable of rewriting uh, like Mega Man and Sonic's entire multiverses. Uh, it's just implied to be two. So it would be also around lower two complex multiversal, basically meaning that Archie Silver would be on par with Super Saiyan 3 Trunks. However, of course, Super Saiyan God Trunks would be above Archie Silver. As for speed, meanwhile, and future Trunks is capable of course keeping up with Super Demigra, who is stated to transcend time and space, basically meaning he should have a like immeasurable speed feats, or is level of speed and Super Saiyan God would make him like to an unquantifiable amount faster. As for Silver, meanwhile, in base he's of course capable of keeping up with Sonic as we said. Sonic was able to move so quickly that even when like, time has stopped he was able to keep on moving, basically meaning that Silver should have infinite speed in base form, and in his super form he should be able to he was able to keep up with Solaris, uh, who could move through different time periods just via movement alone, and also had temporal BFR. This basically means that Super Silver should bare minimum have a measurable speed as a result. This means that the speed is a tie, however of course Trunks is faster than base Silver. As for durability, and the way the key in Dragon Ball works is that like as much power that you can output you should be able to take back in, and this is proven several times throughout the series, basically meaning that Trunks' durability should scale to his attack potency. As for Silver, meanwhile, in base, he was able to take attacks from the Egg Beater, which utterly obliterated base Sonic, which basically means that his durability should scale higher than Universal Plus in base. And as Super Silver, he was capable of taking attacks from Solaris, again, basically meaning that his attack potency should scale to his durability, meaning it's basically the same story. However, you could imply that Silver is more durable due to an ability we'll get onto later on, but for now, Trunks is more durable as a Super Saiyan God. When it comes to abilities for Trunks, he's a skilled swordsman and is a martial artist. He can fly, he can manipulate and sense key, basically meaning he can sense people from far away. He has enhanced senses, he's acrobatic, he can create after images, he can create shocked waves. Uh, because he's a sane, he gets stronger as he fights, uh, basically giving him an accelerated development and a reactive power level. He has telekinesis, teleportation, he can time travel and travel through different dimensions. He gets stronger with rage, can absorb key and the life energy, he has light manipulation via transforming into a Super Saiyan, he has a casualty, he can interact with non-physical things, he has damage reduction reduction, basically meaning if the opponent has an ability to reduce his damage, he would resist it, he can fuse with things with the fusion dance and Patara earrings, he can summon people like Krona, Gohan, Goten and Shenron to him, he has passive probability manipulation and passive probability manipulation negation, as he can basically make his own hits more likely to hit and his opponent's hits less likely to hit him. 
and you know things like that he can increase his own damage by, by damage boosting he has passive damage reduction basically being able to reduce his opponent's damage up to 90 percent he has statistics amplification and stamina recovery he can heal himself he has damage reduction negation he has power nullification and he has power nullification negation basically meaning that his power cannot be nullificated uh, he has energy recovery, he has BFR, stamina reduction, status effect inducement, and as a super saiyan god he has spatial manipulation, better regeneration, and pocket reality manipulation, being able to create his own dimension. He has resistance negation, basically meaning that he can negate some people's resistances, which is a pretty broken ability, and we'll get back to that later on. He has resistance to extreme colds and cosmic radiations and heat manipulation. He can't, he's resistant to a absorption, he's resistant to electricity and time manipulation, he cannot have his stamina reducted, he resists existence erasure and empathic manipulation, he can't be sensed by non-god beings as a super saiyan god, he resists soul manipulation, mind manipulation, dark and normal magic, he resists morality manipulation, possession, madness manipulation and corruption due to being immune to demon god magic. He has resistance to unholy manipulation, temporal BFR and power nullification as I said. He has resistance to memory manipulation and very limited resistance to transmutation. As of course we already brought up, he has different Super Saiyan transformations ranging from Super Saiyan 1, 2 and 3 and God. And he also has a key sword. The abilities that that has is durability negation, it has aura and true flight, it has dimensional travel by itself and key and energy manipulation, it can create weapons and has void manipulation, it has incorporate reality and intangibility due to being able to turn into a pure state of energy. It grants the user duplication and purification and more probability manipulation and higher dimensional manipulation. You can also seal people away and has negation to being sealed along with space time manipulation, portal creation, holy manipulation, time stop, time manipulation and resistance to gravity manipulation and pretty much most of the other stuff that we already brought up that Trunks already has a resistance to. As for Silver, meanwhile, he can fly and has pyrokinesis. He has self-sustenance and aura and energy projection. He can create force fields, reflect attacks, has telepathy, status effect inducement, limited technopathy, uh, time manipulation, time travel, teleportation, regeneration, reality warping, and subjective reality. Basically, he can like, reshape reality to however he wants it to be. He has conceptual manipulation, energy manipulation, empowerment, higher dimensional manipulation, age manipulation, BFR, healing, resurrection, purification, and duplication. He has absorption, true flight, space flight, a casualty, self sustenance, as we already said, intangibility and invulnerability with the super forms, non physical interaction, casualty manipulation, just being able to damage Solaris, who, you know, lives throughout all time. Chaos, energy manipulation, goal manipulation, gravity manipulation, magic, power bestowal and reality warping, law manipulation, existence erasure, memory manipulation, and resistance to extreme cold and cosmic radiations. He has resistance to mind manipulation, corruption, soul manipulation, uh, speed reduction, extrasensory perception, biological manipulation, and transmutation. He has resistance to having his life force absorbed, his mind erased, his soul erased. He has resistance to madness manipulation, memory manipulation, power nullification, poison manipulation, magic, electricity manipulation, paralysis inducement, conceptual manipulation, law manipulation, matter manipulation, and reality warping. Now, I think it's. I think I should probably go over the fact that firstly, Trunks obviously has better weaponry because Silver doesn't have any, and he does physically have more abilities than Archie Silver, so he would be more versatile. However, for his better abilities, that is a very long and complicated thing, and I'll go over that in the conclusion. Uh, so basically for now Trunks has more versatility and is a better weapon rate and is better with weapons than silver. When it comes to weaknesses and Trunks doesn't really have any, at least in the Xenoverse timeline, I mean maybe if you see he somehow gets removed from his sword he doesn't have the sword's abilities that grants him it, but I mean that's kind of stretching for a weakness to be honest. As for Silver, meanwhile, his psychic abilities do have limits, as long along with his super form, which is a you know it does have a time limit. Uh, he's gullible and very naive, and will readily do anything that he's told, and often jumps to conclusions. So I think it's very clear that Super Silver, or at least just regular Silver, is more vulnerable than Trunks. 
So who wins the fight? We've gathered from this that Trunks is uh, more powerful and more durable, has better versatility, is less vulnerable and has better weaponry, and the speed is a tie. So looking at this, you may think it's a complete stomp, but the abilities make it very, very hard to say who wins. Firstly, I'll go through like physical things first. Obviously, Trunks just kind of stomps silver and base and could just speed blitz him and even super like silver doesn't really come close to super saiyan god trunks and super saiyan god trunks would out muscle silver in that regard even if their speed is equal especially considering the saiyan's ability to grow and get faster from that however the abilities is what really really makes it complicated because both of them have lots of overlapping abilities and abilities that wouldn't work in each other and abilities that completely hard counter another or just ones that just completely work. For example, right, Trunks can resist Silver's time manipulation. He can time travel with Silver and also both of their BFR and dimensional travels wouldn't really play up and play being a factor here. Like, for example, if Trunks was to seal Silver away, Silver could just very easily escape that. Uh, Trunks can also resist Silver's soul manipulation, gravity manipulation, existence erasure, memory manipulation, and power nullification. Meanwhile, Silver resists uh, Trunks' time manipulation, as we said, and life absorption. He could possibly resist Trunks' probability manipulation via his law manipulation, but it's a little bit of a head cap, bit of head cannon there. Silver also resists Trunks' power, and power nullification and sealing. He resists Trunks' paralysis inducement and transmutation as well. Meanwhile, Trunks hard counters Silver's intangibility with his non-physical interaction, his invisibility due to being able to sense key, his probability manipulation could probably deal with Silver's law manipulation, though again, both of those seem a bit headcanon you could probably counteract the other, albeit Silver's law manipulation seems a bit more definite than Trunks' probability manipulation. Uh, Trunks' damage reduction could also deal with Silver, you know, in general. His probability negation could also help with the law manipulation. His power nullification negation basically means that Silver's power nullification wouldn't work on Trunks. His durability negation could go through Silver's, you know, invulnerability. His stamina reduction could help with the super transformation, wearing it down. And his temporal BFR, you could argue, along with his higher dimensional manipulation, could allow him to kill Silver through, you know, a casualty. However, Silver resists casualty manipulation, basically meaning that Trunks wouldn't be able to do that. Also, Silver's law manipulation, reality manipulation, could very easily deal with Trunks. And his age manipulation is something that Trunks has never really had to deal with. So, overall, whose abilities basically win? I'd say that Silver's abilities are more broken. However, Trunks definitely has ways to deal with them. As we said, we've already went through some of the abilities he can deal with, but due to, you know, being able to negate, you know, durability and things like that, he could just one-shot Silver, realistically. Uh, his subjective reality and maybe his attack reflection could definitely play a part here. Although Trunks' power nullification can still work on Silver due to his power nullification negation, basically. Uh, and also as resistance negation, it's unclear what the limit to that is. Like, can this resistance negation just allow him to resist Silver's A casualty? Because if so, then he very easily wins. Otherwise, it's sort of just the, you know, Trunks figures out how to kill Silver, and then he just kills Silver over and over and over again. And it would just sort of be an endless fight. The only sort of way that I can see anything like working uh, for Trunks as well, uh, apart from, you know, his, you know, s uh, resistance negation is maybe summoning Shenron to him, uh, maybe to, you know, wish on Silver to just not be a casual. However, we don't really know if Shenron's limitations would really work on Silver, if that makes sense. So I'd say it's probably a stalemate because Trunks would just kill Silver over and over. But Silver would still technically be alive due to his A casualty. And Trunks just doesn't really have a way around that. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.